Hi, I'm Dr. Pat Mangan. You are about to view a short video about your baby from the doctors here at Washingtonville Pediatrics. Let's start with a look at how your four-month-old is developing from our friends at Simply Parenting. Four-month-olds are wonderful. They love to smile and laugh, especially at faces and bright colors. Babies this age are also developing some serious muscle tone. They can move their arms and legs at a rapid pace, and they love to be pulled to a sitting position. By five months, most babies can bear some weight on their legs, and they have pretty good neck control, so although they may not sit up by themselves for another month or so, they should be able to lift their head and chest off the ground in a sort of baby push-up. Pretty soon, your baby may even roll over. Be sure to give him or her plenty of tummy time to practice these skills. You may notice your baby holding his or her fists together in the middle of the chest and then moving them towards the mouth. This is a big step in your baby's development and indicates that your baby's brain is maturing. The hands will now be able to explore objects in a new way. At the same time, four-month-olds can now follow an object 180 degrees from one side to the other. This helps them to reach for and bat at objects that interest them. And get ready for cooing, squeals of delight, and the occasional high-pitched screech. You'll begin to get a feel for your baby's language. Finally, the time has come for your baby to be able to entertain him or herself for short periods of time. Don't be afraid to take a break. In fact, some time apart can be beneficial for both you and the baby. But don't worry, you'll still remain the center of your baby's universe. The Academy of Pediatrics recommends starting solid foods sometime between four and six months. By this age, the digestive tract is developed enough to handle more than breast milk or formula, and your baby will soon need more varied nutrients than breast milk or formula can provide. But the other really good reason to start now is that as you have seen, everything starts to wander into the mouth of a four-month-old. They love to explore things orally, and this includes solid foods. So, if there is no family history of food allergies, you may begin solid foods at this time, or you can wait until six months, especially if your baby is breastfeeding. Start with rice cereal. Mix it fairly thin with either breast milk or formula, and offer it to your baby with a spoon. Don't be surprised if he or she pushes it out at first. Keep trying. Babies need to get used to swallowing, and some babies develop this ability sooner than others. Once swallowing has been mastered, give three to six tablespoons of cereal a day. Wait until they are well established on cereal for one month before adding other foods. Start with vegetables, then fruit. By six months of age, your baby should be eating three meals a day. Continue breastfeeding or formula feeding with an iron-fortified formula and continue giving polyvisol vitamins if your baby is breastfeeding. Although it is still recommended to put your baby on his or her back to sleep, if the baby rolls over during the night, there is no need to panic. At this stage, they can lift their heads up. If you are having any problems with getting your baby to sleep through the night, please discuss this with one of our doctors. Now, let's look at some safety tips. Follow these tips to keep your baby safe and sound. Four-month-old babies are beginning to wiggle around and reach for things. These are skills that bring a whole new set of safety concerns. Follow these tips. Never leave your child unattended on a changing table or other elevated surface. Many parents don't believe their baby is capable of rolling off until their kid takes a tumble over the side. Keep the baby away from jewelry, buttons, and other small objects. At this age, they will put just about anything in their mouths, and these items are choking hazards. 
Don't put your baby in a walker. The American Academy of Pediatrics discourages it. Why? Well, 30 to 40 percent of children who use walkers get injured. Everything from pinched fingers to falls down the stairs. Car seats must be rear-facing until a baby is 20 pounds and 12 months of age. Your baby may want to look around, but safety is paramount. And remember to check the manufacturer's instructions to ensure that your current car seat can be used past the newborn period. You may need to upgrade. Bottom line, be strict about safety. Your baby depends on you. Hi, my name is Debbie, and I'm one of the nurses here at Washingtonville Pediatrics. Here's some advice from our nursing staff. Remember, never give any medications to your baby unless instructed by your doctor. And no cold medicines should be given to your baby at any time. Here are some reasons to call our office. If your baby has a fever with a temperature of 102 or greater, or has a temperature of 101 or greater persisting more than 24 hours, if your baby is more irritable than normal, if your baby is not waking to feed or is refusing to feed. If your baby has vomited more than once or has a severe cough, wheezing, or is breathing faster than normal. Please feel free to call. We're here to help in any way that we can. Now, let's have some fun with your four-month-old. Hanging toys are a big hit with four-month-olds. When on their backs or sitting in infant seats, they will reach for brightly colored objects and bat at things that make noise. Set the toys at different heights for variety. Physical games are also beneficial. Moving your baby around and varying the positions will help build leg, arm, back, and neck muscles. Your baby may enjoy being pulled to a sitting position, practicing standing, and playing on his or her tummy. An occasional round of wheels on the bus can help your baby stretch and develop coordination. Music is also very important at this age when your child is experimenting with sounds of his or her own. Don't be afraid to sing to your baby. They are very gentle critics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again when your baby is six months old.